Footnotes from the Life Application Study Bible With the crowds pressing in on him, Jesus didn't even take time to eat. Because of this, his family came to take charge of him. Thinking he had gone over the edge as a religious fanatic, they were concerned for him, but they missed the point of his ministry. Even those who were closest to Jesus were slow to understand his true identity and nature, and what he had come to do. The family may be the most difficult place to be a witness for Jesus. To be the first or only Christian in your family may go against the grain. Your faith may be misinterpreted as criticism. Your zeal may be misunderstood. You may be accused of being a hypocrite because some areas of your life still fall short of Christ's ideal. Uncommitted people may view your new commitment to the Bible as unreasonable bigotry. Family members require the most patience. They see you at your worst when your guard is down. Remember that Christ's family rejected and ridiculed him. Jesus knows what you face by trying to be a witness for him in your own family. Stay true to your faith. Don't respond negatively to attacks that come. Over time, your love for your family will have a positive effect. Those teachers of religious law brought a nonsensical accusation against Jesus. They tried to say that Jesus was driving out demons by the power of the prince of demons. In other words, that Jesus' power came from Satan, not God. They refused to believe that his power was from God because then they would have had to accept him as the Messiah. Their pride would not let them do that. They also couldn't allow the people to believe in Jesus as the Messiah because that would threaten their own power. So they created this bizarre accusation to try to get people to believe that Jesus himself was possessed. This would deny his claim as the Messiah and place him instead in league with the devil. The more effective you are in your Christian life, the more extreme will be the attacks of the enemy. Even the most ridiculous accusation will convince some when it's clear, cleverly packaged to sound sincere and concerned. Stand firm for the truth, even when clever attacks come. Although God permits Satan to work in our world, God is still in control. Because he is God, Jesus has power over Satan and is able to cast out demons thus ending their terrible work in people's lives. One day, Satan will be bound forever, never again to do his evil work in the world. See Revelation chapter 20, verse 10. Christians sometimes wonder if they have committed the sin of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Christians need not worry, because this sin reveals a heart attitude of unbelief and unrepentance. Deliberate, ongoing rejection of the work of the Holy Spirit is blasphemy, because it is rejecting God himself. The religious leaders accused Jesus of blasphemy, but ironically, they were the guilty ones when they looked Jesus in the face and accused him of being possessed by Satan. 